Hey, it's Mike and Richie with you out at the flying field with another creation from Rich's workbench. How's it going? It's going good. Richie, what kind of airplane is that? Uh, I call it the rat because I it's just what I had in the junk pile. I love it. <laughs> it's, you know what? I'm looking at the bottom there. There's some gear sticking out the bottom. Uh, Looks like two capacitors. It is. What two, do you got? Ten, two 10 farad capacitors. That's never been done before. Ah, I'm a pioneer. You are a pioneer, a true scientist. Yeah. And it's the maiden flight, or maiden test. I don't expect we'll get too much of a flight. It's a little breezy, but yeah. you just want to try it, see if it balances and whatnot? Yeah, it's not a full charge. Okay. Well, it needs a little adjustment, but it isn't too far out. Any damage? Had a boy. Had a boy. Well, you know it's going to need a couple adjustments. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that shows promise. I think that thing is going to work. It needs a little up elevator. Yeah, little up elevator. Yeah. You going to make an adjustment? And try again, or wait till next time? Uh, cut. And cut. <laughs> All right, Richie. Any time, baby. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah. Nice. Wow, good long flight. Nice flight, Richie. That wasn't bad for a maiden, I'll tell you what. No damage? Nope. No damage? Nope. Boy, I think that's got some good promise. That's gonna once it's trimmed out. Well, it's a 20-inch wingspan, the biggest uh, so far single-engine cap airplane. Yeah, yeah. And that's got what for a motor? Uh, an eight millimeter. Yeah, yeah, eight twenty. Eight, eight twenty. Yeah. Yeah, or eight and a half by twenty is what it actually is. I think. Cool. Uh, so goes to prove though you can make a bigger airplane. Use the bigger motor, two 10 farad caps, and uh, looks like it's going to have a good duration. And that's the uh, that's a bigger prop too. That's a 75 millimeter. Oh yeah, yeah. It's about three inches. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Again, meat trays and building material f insulation foam. Yeah, and you made the wheels out of balsa wood yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's sweet. It ain't scale, but it's got a scale look to it, like an old golden age yeah nice well, man it would be a d it would it would be a d8 a fokker d8 if i made the tail up to those outlines yeah be it, pretty close yeah yeah so this is the british answer to the d8 gotcha <laughs> the love newport it. A, the, love it in in fantasy war i know right <laughs> boy that looks great man it's gonna fly great well, take a look at the snow, folks. It's going to be gone tomorrow. It started out 10 degrees this morning, and it's going to be 40-something here during the day. The sun feels hot, and the stuff is just melting like crazy. It's maple sugar time of year coming up. Oh, you dropped your door. Oh, yeah. Well, over here, take a quick look at this, you guys. This is, uh, I made this from the same pattern as our build along project capacitor plane. I added half an inch of wingspan 
to each side at the root. So it's got one extra inch overall span. It's full house RC. Uh, aileron elevator, rudder, and throttle. I'll give you a look at the inside here. There is the gear. We got a rudder servo, aileron servo. Elevator comes out the other side there. Runs to the tail. Pretty cool. We'll put up a flight with that one too. Oh no! Oh no. No damage. Took a snoot full of snow in the nose though, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I build them to fly, not not snowmobiles. I know, right? <laughs> Still working the bugs out of it. Wowzo! Wow, Richie, Jesus! Yeah, wow, what a flight! <laughs> That's the way it's supposed to go, man. Well, I'd say she's all trimmed out. 